Taurus, welcome to this impromptu reading. I'm just going to do a love check-in for you guys. So let's go ahead and start. Just Angel Michael, um, check in for Taurus, please. Give me the highest vibration. We have 38 with Earth Element Stability. Stop. Okay. Ooh. Choose your battles. Seven. From here, we have the moon. Listen to your intuition, intense emotions, deception, hidden truth. Proceed with caution. Learning, feeling tested with a situation, searching for knowledge, further education, student, and time off. Okay, it looks like uh, we choose your battles here. It's actually pointing out with your mental, emotional stability, um, choosing what you can conquer and what you can't, and really being patient with yourself. Um, I'm seeing a seven usually is a chariot energy, but I'm getting a heavy reflective mode here. Um, it's probably due to the eclipse coming up soon. Uh, you just have to let that pass by. I think it's on the 25th. So take that for a little bit and then you can um, go back to your old self um, once the energy passes. This is more of don't rock the boat, um, keep on, keep on, but uh, really not bury your head in the sand, but it's more of um, something about the energies are very testy right now. If you try to pick a fight or someone picks a fight with you and you kind of um, have a rebuttal, things might not pan out your way you might lose more than what you bargain for so just calm down and kind of um, compromise if you can uh, with learning here this is probably someone you've had a go with that try to test you over and over again um, what they're basically telling you is to take a time off from dealing with this person or um, deal it with love or you could be dealing with a Pisces or someone that just has you don't know what you're getting with this person um, I'm getting this could be someone an elderly and once full moon hits like you know how people could get a little bit um, prickly when it's full moon but it's not full moon so the moon cycles probably affect this person especially with this eclipse coming up so just watch out for that okay let's go ahead and carry on with your with your love reading okay michael um give me a little bit of for tours yeah this could be someone that's kind of a little bit bored someone that's probably in bed a lot or this is someone that is not doing a lot right now this is again someone that has nothing to pick on but you they see no one but you and it's gonna mess with your head a little bit so we have friendship this could be a friend but since I was gunning for romance you could have a budding relationship that's starting as friends have watching you they miss you they feel safer watching you from a distance and we have over romanticized sometimes our idea of love is far from real okay I'm being told to cover this up because this was a different thing different message what I had up top and this is another one so what I had up top is just basically a small message that you need to watch out for and this is now the love reading um, you could be dealing with someone that does not like to do labels or someone that want to get to know you first or this is a very friendship this is could be very flirty teasing and i think someone is teasing you with photos romantic offer romance my god this is so different from the pisces energy i was getting earlier oh my god and we have trap what is that and we have soulmate underneath okay 
Okay, so there's... Okay, I get it. It looks like you're trapped in a relationship where it's just a very um, platonic, more of, please don't get my words as a, like an insult or anything, but this I'm getting, it's more of a, um, like the fire fizzled really quickly and then the romance is just kind of gone. And you scroll through social media or take it as it resonates. If this is not your energy, it's probably the person that you're about to deal with. Um, and it's more for like, you know when you see couples online and they look really perfect and when you see them um, in real life, like there's no chemistry, it's just very like they treat each other like buddies. It's kind of like that. And then here comes another person that would really change your life. Someone that um, this will come out of nowhere. And this is going to be a romance that's going to be fast, unexplainable kind of love. And it looks like one of you guys, once you meet this romance of a lifetime, someone will be kind of entangled with someone. And it could be someone that's trapped in this relationship. Um, yeah, but this is a soulmate energy. Let me get tarot cards. So shifting out of this looks like, and it's not the kind of relationship that you can ignore either. Like the chemistry is just very intense. Hold on, let me use this one first. Okay, get me this new romance for Taurus, please, or this soulmate relationship. I think you have not met this person, but if you have, it's about to transform. We have six with Mars, ruler of destruction, compass, 22, and 17, problem solver. So it looks like we have yarn, complicated, in the bottom. It's going to be a very transformative relationship where you guys this person will have to leave this mundane and I'm not even getting their like sexual with their partner it's more of a um, very platonic and it's not for show it wasn't probably in the beginning but I'm not getting like I'm getting really like friends truly like a friendship marriage I think more of a settling kind of feeling um, with compass here with 20, 22, it was divine timing. Um, 617 could have been a thing. You guys met in 2017, or um, you guys met around Gemini season, or springtime. Um, but yeah, this was to kind of rock your guys' world for the better. Um, this is divine timing, and it's really gonna set you forth towards your north node this romance um, and this is someone that 17 is a um, the star energy so it could be a very healing relationship at the same time very resourceful um, I'm just remembering the time where I countered a raccoon while I was throwing garbage and it was eating pizza <laughs> it was freaking out I was screaming but it was so cute in a weird way it was like a little Batman costume anyway um so this is your person I mean not Batman but like very resourceful um this is this this person will not let you go hungry they would really take care of you okay so let's get tarot cards Taurus Three of Swords. Okay. Ace of Cups, Four of Wands. 
you guys will come through with um, just a little bit of hurt, a, not backlash, maybe a little bit of it if it's like a friendship group, but I'm not getting it's going to be, I had to forget it, it's Nine of Cups. Um, you guys will, will be okay, it will tide over, but I'm seeing this as a long-term thing. Um, and this person will commit to you immediately. I'm hearing slowly but surely, but this is a very abundant love. And this person will fight for this love. So it might take a while. I don't know how the entanglements are with this person when they're trapped in that, but they're going to build with you. Again, very healing energy here with 17 and 17. Three of Cups. So, yeah, this is going to lead to marriage, um, celebration, and we have the sun underneath. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then we have Ace of Swords and Judgment. So I'm getting this could be like a, like a second chance for you both. Love. I'm getting, um, you guys have probably been disappointed as well. I'm getting a lot of sevens in my head right now. Um, I'm hearing Monica, but um, overall, this would be, I'm getting this could be sealed with a baby as well, or with this birth, it could be with a business, or just happiness, just a lot of happiness. King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Three of Cups, the Star. Holy crap, man. This is amazing. And this will be a relationship where you guys will really have to protect and guard because with Three of Swords here and that the past, it looks like the past will try to kind of penetrate your guys' energy, but at the same time, maybe even like group of friends could be a problem here, especially if they know the ex person. Um, just watch out for that let me get initials but this is if you have not met this person you're about to um if I have O U K N G W hearing Winston oh my god so many U's that's the third one someone could be a smoky here a smoker with lungs BK Burger King just being silly hold on H Heather Gregory, George, I'm hearing gem, it could be Gemini, it could be dealing with a Gemini, Vincent, hearing again Monica I don't know who's Monica but yeah okay so let me see what else what kind of relationship will this be for you we have interference and external party is intruding on this relationship again with this three of swords and that thing with the French that I said earlier a leap of faith it's time to make the move you're considering release radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go so again pick your battles if you feel like you're gonna be dealing with people that would trigger you to the worst of ways just 
I know sometimes you get triggered and you snap immediately and it's time to kind of reel that in. I don't know why for some reason, like I'm being told to keep reminding you that, so I am. And time apart, some distance will bring, will help bring clarity. So this could be someone that you are at a distance with or you're not in contact or there will be a time apart once you guys start um, connecting but I'm getting like it won't be like a lengthy thing it's not going to be not with this soulmate I still feel the pain so for some of you you guys have already met this person and they're about to come back to have a talk um, again pick your battles when you deal with them um, also I'm hearing let them talk first because I think this person has a lot to unload and once they do you can have your rebuttal and figure out how you want to proceed if you want to renew um, fight with them for them with them or you could take your leave and start a new chapter and either way you're going to be given another soulmate if this is not the one you want okay so this is all i have for you taurus um i wish you guys lots of love happiness if you have not liked subscribe go ahead and do so um have a great weekend bye